What is up you guys? Today we're going to be talking about Palantir. A lot of people have been asking me to do an update on this, talk about some major buy and sell levels. We're also going to go over some technical analysis and ultimately where I think Palantir will end up in the next couple of weeks. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out our Discord community, nearly 10,000 members strong. Guys get access to free courses, free live streams, free seminars, free webinars. Link is in the description. Taking a look at Palantir, stock obviously has not been performing very well over the past couple of years from highs of $45 back in January down to where we're trading right now. The stock is down 85%, but since IPO, the stock is actually finally now down. We were still up uh, over the past year, even with that massive sell-off, but recently we are still down trading at lows of $6.90. Taking a look at book map, you can see right now we've been trading in a sideways pattern all day, basically between $7.11 and $6.90. The biggest thing that I see right here are these two major sell and buy levels. The first one is a huge order that's sitting in the shadows at $6.51. Somebody has 179,390 shares locked and loaded, ready to be bought down there at $6.51. So $6.51 is that major buy zone that we're keeping an eye out at. But there is a secondary buy zone, not as big with the 92,000 shares, still a huge order sitting at $6.75. So if we were to go through, you can see looking at the weekly chart, I have drawn out that $6.48 level. But if we were to go through and draw that $6 and I think it was 75 cent level right here, you will be able to see that this could potentially be a pretty solid entry for Palantir. But in my personal opinion, if you really are looking to get the best price, I'd probably be watching for somewhere down around that $6 level that we were initially talking about or 651. 651 is a really good level. That's where that 180,000 uh, shares are sitting ready to be bought. So the other thing to watch is this big resistance level you can see up here at $7.71. There's 66,128, which is about to be uh, hit. If we get up there, we would end up selling up there. And that'd be a, a very heavy resistance. If we look at the one hour, that 770 level, which is where that big sell is, was also a very major support for the past couple of weeks where we have bounced off of this level many, many times. So in my personal opinion, if you really want a good buy, I would be waiting to see if we can hit $6.40. There is a potential that we could try to get a little bit of a rally back up to 732, 733, maybe even 770. But in my opinion, it's looking like we're probably going to have a, a bit of a bear flag, which would end up in a continued sell off. Potentially, we could end up seeing like I said, a little bit of consolidation forming here to potentially move our way up to 720 and then probably followed by a flushed out fade back down to 675. But 650 is really where I would be watching. I'm not taking a position in this as of right now, but understanding these book map levels and understanding where money is, not just support and resistances, is the most important thing as a trader. Because if we start to get down into the 675, 650 range, these orders start to um, hit and then we start to see a bounce that could actually be a pretty good ride for a potential move up back up to 738, maybe even 771. Hope this video helped. Check out our Discord if you want access to all of my trades, as well as all the book maps, which you're seeing here, as well as all of our phantom prints, all of the unusual options activity. I post it every single day within our Discord. I'm over there hanging out, and it's only a dollar a day to upgrade to get access to all my trades. Thanks for all the support, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.